Question, what are seven good reasons why innocent people give a no comment police interview? One, a genuine fear of reprisals that if you name the real culprit, you and those around you will be subject to violence outside the police station. Two, you're traumatized and in shock at being arrested and detained for a long period in a police cell. And thus you are not in the right frame of mind to answer a series of police questions, being vulnerable to giving a false or exaggerated account. Three, because of a lack of police disclosure given to your lawyer before the police interview, you don't know precisely what the offence or offences you're alleged to have committed or when or where the offence was committed. And so your lawyer might advise you and you agree and decide that you can't possibly provide an account and defence until you know more about what you're alleged to have done. Four, the allegation against you is just too complex and too old to give an immediate response during the police interview, e.g. where you were two years ago or about a bank transfer five years ago. Five, you have serious mental health issues which make you vulnerable to making a false confession. Six, you have been unfairly arrested and detained and the whole police interview is part of the unfairness. So you are concerned that the purpose of the interview is to get you to say something that will only help the police case against you. And seven, the interviewing officers have already made up their mind that you're guilty before the police interview has even started. So whatever you say in the police interview is pointless. Remember, if you decide to give a no comment police interview or remain silent, that is you don't put forward your defense and account, this may mean one, the police may not be able to eliminate you from their criminal investigations. And two, if your case proceeds to a trial, where you do put forward a defence and account, it is still a matter for the court to decide whether an adverse inference can be drawn from your silence or no comment. And this would involve an assessment by the court whether it was reasonable in the circs for you not to mention your defence and account during the police interview. Please seek legal advice for the case you're involved in and do watch a full video on should you give a no comment interview. Seven good reasons. Go to YouTube channel Community Legal Education and subscribe. Link in the bio. Feel free to shout in the comments, follow, like and share.